Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on Well Groomed, and this is page one. So there's two flaps, page one and page eight are relatively simple. Um, we've got the large flap, which is six and five eighths by eight, and then the smaller flap is four and five eighths by eight. So these are gonna just slightly overlap. And let's see, this is page one. I'm trying to think. I actually want to do it this way. I'm going to put the smaller flap on this side. So I'm going to put the the, um, the smaller of the two flaps is going to the left, large on the right. I don't label left and right in my cut list because they're the same size for page one and page eight, and I just mirror it. So if I said left and right here, then it, it wouldn't work for page eight. You'd have to flip it. So, it just saves me a little bit of time putting the cut list together. I think most of you have figured it out by now. All right, now I um, am going to mat and use an ephemera card here, and so the magnet will go under on the ephemera card and on the flap. So for now, we are done with the interactive components so we can start decorating. Okay, so I chose this stripe to go here and it is from the 8x8 pack, so it is, oh, I didn't ink it, sorry. It is um, the scaled down version of the stripes, which I think looks better when you're doing a narrow page. I would have used the broader stripes if I was covering a larger surface. Okay, I'm also going to use a contrast sheet. I can see my edges. Okay, that's done. Now for the large side, I'm going to use this pattern, which is from the 12 by 12, and you can see it's the stripes. So it's the larger format, and it's from the collection, 12 by 12 collection pack. Okay, I think I forgot to ink everything, sorry about that. Oops, I told you guys I was gonna put a magnet here and then you let me put that down. So I need to stop right there, let that dry. And then um, for the inside, well, let's go ahead and mat. I'm gonna set that aside so it dries. Mat and um, prepare. So I'm a little, okay. So this is what it's going to look like. So I want to pick um, an ephemera card that looks good here. I don't know if I want to go vertical or horizontal. Hmm. I really like the back of the ephemera cards in this collection. I actually think some of them are prettier than the front. In fact, most of them. See, I just think that's too busy. So I'm liking this look. So horizontal, vertical. I think I like this. There you go. So I'm gonna um, math that. I'll be right back. Okay, oh, I can see my cords hanging down. Sorry about that. 
Um, I hope that wasn't through the last shot, but I bet it was. Um, okay, so I let that dry. I matted um, this ephemera card. So it's going to be attached here and it's gonna come across to this side of the page. So we're gonna attach it first and then um, locate the magnet. Okay, I was just eyeballing it to about center. It doesn't have to be perfect. Oops. So I'm just gonna put a little reference line there so I know where to go. And then I'm going to draw a line here so I know when to stop applying glue. Now I'm using this red stripe as a guide, but I also verified that my cuts were really straight so that the, the stripe is, is really vertical and not at a slant. Okay, now we're ready to add our magnets. Very warm here today. Okay, now we can put our paper back down. Now we're ready. I've got too much stuff laying around. papers here. I'm rethinking something. So on the back side here, I think I picked this. So I'm actually going to rethink what I'm doing in the middle. I think I might split this in half and put something else in the middle, but I need a minute. <clears throat> okay, I've made my decision. So we're ready to finish page one and we're working on the inside of page one. So I'm going to go over what I've decided. So these two prints are from the 12 by 12 collection pack. This is from the Patterns and Solids, and there is a 
um, there's some words beneath this, very faint, so it is directional, so pay attention to that. These are not, which is kind of nice. That means it's really easy to use your scraps in any orientation that you want. So um, this is also from Patterns and Solids. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cover the back of the ephemera card with black. Um, I've got my paws here. And then on the base of the 8x10 pocket page, I'm going to do this strip, this strip, and then you can see it stops right here. And then on this flap, I'm going to add a black strip. So you've got this consistent pattern, but this black strip is on the flap and this one is on the base. So you can kind of see that. Make sense? That's what we're going to do. It looks like I've got everything inked, so we're going to start on the left and work to the right and trim as required. I, I think I've got it down, but until I get stuff actually glued to the paper, I never know if I'm going to tweak anything. This looks good. This is probably my least favorite pattern in the collection, and that's why it's on the inside or the B side. I mean, it's okay, but I, there's so many other patterns I like better. Um, I don't think I would feature this on a, an A side. But I try to use all the patterns in the collection. Okay, now we're going to add a strip here. And then once we get this in, if we need to, we might have to take a little bit off the larger sheet. But we shall see. You know what? I forgot my lights down low. Let me turn that up for you guys. Um, my studio lighting, sorry about that, is very hot. So when I'm just working by myself, I'll turn it down so it doesn't heat my room up so much. And I was like, why am I having such a hard time seeing the edge here? <laughs> That's why. All right. It looks like I got this right where I want it. Yep, it's clearing the hinge, and I've got ink on it, and I wasn't going to do it that way. I was going to do it this way. Let's take a look again. Let's see. So we have that option or this option, and this just seems too busy, so we're going to do the solid red, which is what I had originally planned. And that makes it it's very easy to put photos on top of solid papers. this strip make sure it's right side up Here's our last piece, and I do need to trim just a little bit more off here. So I'm going to mark that, trim it, and that will be it for page one. 
and it's not much, maybe a sixteenth of an inch. Okay, that's it for page one. So this flap will close first. This closes over top. I'll probably do a little bit more embellishing here. I don't know what, maybe add um, some banners or some of the um, die cuts, but uh, I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. So it's lovely. Okay, page one, all done.